That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, tuck that shin. Eric, yeah, tuck that shin. It's a close yeah. fall. Can you uh, emphasize that cross grip? Get him to, when you get that cross grip, yeah, pop it down a little more, and there you go. And he, as he comes back, that allows that, see, it allows you to shave that shoulder a little better, I think. You know, it allows you to come over to that right side a little deeper. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, trap that down. Yeah, yeah. When you're catching that with your left thigh, is it on the inside of his left thigh? Is that where you're doing it? I, I, I can't. Oh, across. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's, that's, yeah, that's what I thought you were doing. That's, that's right. So Derek, can you show us what you're doing there? It's a cross grip into a Georgian grip, and you're really doing a, a front thigh lift, front knee lift. It looks very much like a, a, a sumi geishi or hikomi geishi, but you're not doing a sacrifice. You're doing a lift and a lot of hip movement and a turn. So can you show us that? I basically think this would be a, what in samba this would be a variation of a skull check, uh, but in judo this would be hikomi geishi or. Maybe even a, a variation of Obitori Geishi. Obitori Geishi, possibly, yeah, right. So we're going to start by catching a cross grip with two hands on that sleeve, and we're going to bring it down so I get that shoulder dip. And then as he pulls his hand back, he brings his shoulder in to get that one back, which allows me to cut through and get my Georgia grip real tight. And I'm still pulling this sleeve right here. I see what you're doing there, yeah. So you don't let go of the sleeve when you get the Georgian grip. You keep both of them because that's going to make it impossible for him to turn out on this side. And as soon as we get that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step in, I start to pull, and I catch with the thigh. And you're not going right up into his balls. If I hadn't turned, I would hit him right in the crotch. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is I'm turning and pulling that, that Georgian grip catching the upper part of his thigh with my knee and my thigh. Boom, and over we go. And as you get more athletic with it, you come in and really try and get sky high with that knee and turn hard. And you'll get a big, beautiful samba. I notice also people would think they have you have to lift a lot with your knee, but I see a lot of hip action there too. A lot, a lot of hip rotation. Right. It's, it looks like that there, it's a big, like strong person throw, but it really is a lot of the work is already done just by digging that shoulder and catching the Georgian grip, and then the finish is just really good hip turn. Just like he says, I need to get him up off the foot, so I lift with my knee, but from there it's just. All See, a lot of people emphasize, they think first it's a, a, a knee lift, a thigh lift, which we do that, yes, right. but that hip rotation is really what makes it work, wouldn't you say? Right. Yeah, a, a lot of the, the reversing style uh, Georgian grip sambo throws are a lot more of it is rotation than it is lift. It looks like, you know, the Carbarellis and, and the, uh, the great binding throws. It looks like you're doing this huge big, but really you're just getting their hips up and up 
twist them super hard and turn or arch. Yeah, that, that thigh is just like, um, is, is extra, really. It right. is extra. Yeah, it's, it's the, the on, on top. If yeah. I've done my work, I'm not really using my knee too much. It's very much a hip rotational type throw. Right. Can you show again here what we're doing? 